This is He Knows the Sport, bringing you that heat and that far. We keeping the foot on the what on the dicks. We keeping the foot on the what on the dicks. And like Mr. Betty Masher, if that I am, I'm applying what unlimited pressure. Because pressure does what? It bursts his pipes. Notice, Fire Marshal Bill ain't got shit to say, dog. Ticket TV ain't got shit to say. When Brooklyn Nets, where Brooklyn at? Where Brooklyn at? Where Brooklyn at? Where Brooklyn at? Remember when Biggie said that, though, he didn't ask a question. He made an emphatic statement. I like that new documentary that they got on Netflix. Y'all need to check that shit out, by the way, man. Bottom line is as simple as this in its most cool-hearted, unadulterated, and cut from television. The Brooklyn Nets is where Brooklyn is at. They're nine out of ten in their last ten fucking games. This is why we call this motherfucker Fire Marshal Bill, creating the fires and not willing to put out the smoke. Because he jumps and gets crazy anytime Brooklyn loses. They're 23 and fucking 13. They're 10 games above 500. You remember when all of these LeBron tarts open and secret ended were saying, oh man, you know Brooklyn, they're not even 500. Where y'all fucking la cucarachas, la cucarachas, yo no puedo caminar. La cucarachas, la cucarachas. Yo no puedo caminar. Where's you fucking scattering ass cockroaches at now? No, no, let's contextualize it. You la scattering la fucking la cockroaches. Y'all know where to be la fucking found. Because y'all got exposed, man. We told you guys, you have to be patient. See, people don't understand greatness, dog. Greatness personification can only be hindered. The motherfucker can't be stopped. Let me say it again. Greatness personification can only be hindered. The motherfucker can't be stopped. You can't stop the greatness personification of a Kyrie Irving. You can't stop the greatness personification of a Kevin Durant. You can't stop the greatness personification of a James Harden. Because James Harden understands. He listening, he knows the sport. It's bringing you that what? That heat and that fart. And keeping the foot on the what? On the Knicks. And keeping the foot on the what? On the Knicks. And uh, like the Tibetan master that he is, he's applying what? Unlimited pressure. Because pressure does what? He bursts his pipes. He understood he was a Tony Romo, a.k.a. Zab Judah. Now he's fulfilling that obligation. Kyrie Irving is fulfilling the obligation of being the second wheel. But Kevin Durant is the first wheel. You got motherfuckers hating. Is he load managing? LeBron James had a psychologist write up a la cockamamie, la nonsense. Oh, um, this is why he got exposed in the wild, wild west. The wild, wild west. Let me say it again. The wild, wild west. Let me say it again. The Wild Wild West, he got exposed or he got love exposed the first year. They didn't make no excuses. You didn't hear LeBron Tar say, well, if he don't win this year, I thought LeBron James could take hobbits to the fucking NBA finals. I thought he can rap, take their rabbit ass up to the, to the three towers. He can win with any fucking body. He got exposed and a psychologist had to do something. Someone that doesn't deal with physical extremities. Remember, psychology deals with your mental. It doesn't deal with your physical. Made up some bullshit that he had a groin injury, the equivalent of him being out for six months. That was the love excuse they made. He wasn't load managing that year. LeBron James set out quite a bit. That's why I can always expose Fire Marshal Bill. Because he's creating fires but not willing to put out the smoke. He's a flip-flopper. He's a ravening wolf. I.E. intermingling and masking himself as a fake as fuck Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan fan. I done told you guys. You can't be a Michael Jordan and a Kobe Bean Bryant fan and be a LeBron James fan. You cannot. It's like oil and water. The shit don't mix. It's like apples and oranges, man. It shit don't add up. So in this most cold-hearted, unadulterated, and cutthroat through television is associated as this. We have to tell the Dillian Nation the distinction, the golf, and the separation between guys that flip-flop on YouTube, guys that are fish straddlers, and he knows the sport that's authentic and consistent as you know what from day one. Because day one, I done told you guys, James Harden was going to Brooklyn Nets. And the prediction king strikes. Er, and the prediction king strikes. And he knows the sport is the only prediction king artist fashion king ship, dog. Because when he tells you something, it's going to come to pass because he'd already done plot. He knows the sports seer mode. He's the seer and the prophet of this generation, dog. He done invented basketball. He's the final authority on basketball. So when he tells you stuff about basketball, it's going to pass. You see, this is what you guys don't understand. And I told you guys, Brooklyn Nets, once they figure it out with their starting core, the sum of all parts will figure it out. And what's happening right now? James Harden doesn't have no pressure on him because he has Mr. KD Trey 5, Mr. KD 3 5, Mr. Do Me and I Chill. When you got a true alpha extraordinaire governed by true alpha economics on your team, you can chill. 
because he will carry the weight for you. And then you have the contrarian true alpha extraordinaire governed by true alpha economics on Kyrie Irving. So James Harden is free now. He's able to play freely. And you see it. And that's why he's a playmaker extraordinaire. That's what Tony Romo was. That's what Zab Judah is. Front fucking runners. They do all of the job and all the heavyweight lift in the regular season. And then come playoff time, Kevin Durant's going to say, get the fuck out of the way and give me the ball and let me do what I do best. Which is be the Slim Reaper iteration. Which is to be the Mr. Anti-LeBron. Which is to be the guy that drops the 35 crook a little, crook a little in the shot in the ah of LeBron James' face. See, when it's all said and done, it's where Brooklyn is fucking at. So when you got motherfuckers crying over one loss, well, what about the Los Angeles Lakers? Didn't they fucking lose games? Did the secret loving LeBron tar, you will know them by the, the fruits that they fucking love bear. Did he have anything to say in his la Rudy pouring la pum pum brain la fucking la mouth? No. So ah, stop the presses and pop the brakes on the nonsense. Go sit down somewhere. What? Giggity fucking hush. When it's all said and done. Brooklyn Nets is where it's at. And if you ain't paying attention or you ain't listening about what Brooklyn is about to do and how they're going to run this league rough shot. And by the way, the Los Angeles Clippers and a prediction kicks right in. And a prediction kicks right in. He knows what told you. It was going to be Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard. It's going to be their era. I'm not even going to touch on that shit. Because every time he knows the sport says something, it comes to pass. Because he knows the sport is already Sun Tzu, a.k.a. Art of War. Seven steps ahead of the game. 48 laws of power on that ass. This is why these motherfuckers can't see me. Especially some damn fire marshal bill. Flip flopper. That's really a mama's boy. Pure fucking beta supreme. That lacks a father figure. Or i.e. a father in the home. I done told you, man. I can be your father, dog. I can father your ass. Because it's clear you need a fucking father in your life. Because when it's all said and done, men shouldn't be jealous. That's a fucking female trait. Men shouldn't be jealous of another. That's pure beta-isms. Because alphas congratulate one another. So when it's all said and done, Brooklyn Nets is where it's at. So get up. Fucking saddle your shit up, motherfuckers. Because when it's all said and done, the natural order of basketball restore has returned. To restore the natural order of basketball. That's Kevin fucking Durant. So LeBron James, the Le legacy is officially la fucking redone. The Le Cachet is officially la re-over. This is not a Mickey Mouse title. This is not a fraudulent, fluky, on-the-spot NBA title. This is not a least path of resistance NBA title. This is not a virtual reality. It's not a ready player one. Remember what I told you guys. When you take off the virtual reality, you motherfuckers got to come back to a fucking reality. And when it's all said and done, this is a real NBA title. Real shit is at stakes. So stop worrying about Kevin Durant and him not being there for games. Talk about LeBron James and his fucking load management that he's done throughout his fucking career. That's the cold-hearted. That's the unadulterated. That's the cutthroat truth teller fashion. Leave it to Hino's to support to keep the foot on the what on the next. Leave it to Hino's to support to keep the foot on the what on the next. When it's all said and done, Brooklyn Nets is the team to fucking beat. And Brooklyn Nets ain't going nowhere for the next few years. That's the cool hearted. That's the unadulterated. That's the cutthroat to tell fashion. I keeps the foot on the what on the next. I keeps the foot on the what on the next. This is Hino's Sport. Checking out.